Once the timeline has been marked and the title templates are in place, I'll populate the timeline with titles for text, graphics, and backgrounds. Once the title templates are in place, I can now begin to populate the timeline with the titles. And this is the part that gets a little bit tedious, but I've found a way to accelerate that a little bit. For a short video like this, where I don't have an incredible number of markers, it goes pretty quick. For longer videos, longer presentations, it can take some time. So that's why I developed this. Right now, I'm not going to worry about the section title because I don't know where the sections are going to break. Right now, I'm going to click on the title track in the first title. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to hit the navigation key to go to the next marker. Right click, paste. Navigation to go to the next marker. Right click, paste paste, 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 and I'm going to do that throughout the length of the entire presentation. And what that's going to do is when I start filling in the content, I have boxes that are already there. They're good to go. All right, that's my title track. I'm going to do the same thing with graphics. So I'm going to go to graphics, click in the track, make sure everything's deselected. I'm going to click this, right click, copy, and then navigate to the next marker, right click, paste, paste, paste. And I'll continue throughout the entire presentation until the timeline's populated. And I'll go back here and I will click graphics too. I will repeat the process that I did for Graphics 1 with one exception. Lately, I have been using a single background for the entire presentation. I'm planning on doing that with this particular presentation. So I'm going to just simply, instead of copying this, I have the option of just dragging this and stretching it across all the markers to the end of the presentation. I can do that. I also have the option of going into this, entering a background and then copying it as individual titles through here. And then if I wanna change anything, I've already got the background. If I don't put a background in it and then I want to use the same background, I can either stretch or whatever later on. I'm gonna go into all that later. So the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I wanna move the playhead out of the way. Now I'm gonna size every one of these titles to the individual areas here. I'm gonna click, left click, drag. And it will snap to the marker. And I'm gonna go through the entire timeline and stretch all these out and size them appropriately. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the graphics below it so that I have graphics and my title box is ready to go. And then when I start working on filling in the content, this is really gonna help speed things up. Once I have the titles laid out on the timeline, I'll start building the presentation from the top down, beginning with section titles. Then I'll start adding text elements in the titles.